Rising. Most of you guys knew that I was already playing this game. It is definitely a, it's a me game, right? It's a me game. I may have a lot of me games, but this one's a little extra me. So first let me go ahead and say that if you want to draw similarities between this game and other games, let's just say Valheim. And kind of like a little bit of like, I guess, a like Diablo in terms of like the camera perspective and all that. To me, it actually feels like, yeah, like Valheim. But a lot of times it feels like, wow, like not necessarily like the MMO or social aspect, but just as I'm running around and doing things in these little towns and these little like alcoves and everything, I feel like like World of Warcraft, right? Just go out and just fuck around, and just do click mats and everything, right? That's what you end up doing a lot of here. And maybe it's the perspective and everything that you're dealing with. Um, but it is a, I mean, it is a robust early access title. Don't look at the early access and say, nah, man, it's not for me. This is not one of those, I promise you. I'm 26 hours in. I still have plenty, plenty of time that I could, uh, could log into this game if I wanted to. Uh, and I will, <laughs> uh, I think I will. Uh, and I encourage you to at least check it out, right? Or check out other reviews or, you know, just watch this video. Okay, so I have a server here. We're gonna go and hop on. Don't look at my password. And just don't look at that. <laughs> and this is a community server uh, right now. It is like four people on or something like that. We think we had like 16 to 20 people on over the weekend. Uh, the game has exited its first total weekend, first whole weekend of release. They have uh, tons of, of, uh, of people playing it. It's been trending on Twitter a couple times. Uh, overall, like these guys are just doing really, really, really well. I'd expect it's probably going to start to kind of plateau a little bit or at least kind of kind of stabilize in terms of population. But it doesn't matter because it's not an MMORPG. You play with like your homies and that's the way it works, right? You, lo you log in, you make a little server for yourself. Even if you're playing single player, it's, it's basically online still. Uh, and, you know, you invite your friends and just, you know, have a good old time. You know, just play. And that's basically what we're doing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this off with... Um, well, let's go ahead and start this off with uh, with running around. This is my horse here. Yes, it's named Shizzle. I didn't name it. It was a gift. <laughs> and I'll come back and I'll showcase my uh, uh, my castle in a little bit. But you don't start like this. You build it. So that's the that's where the Valheim part kind of comes in, right? We'll close that up. So 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 so. This is the outside of my castle here. I even built those stairs right there. We got some baddies here. Oh, the sun's rising. Oh, perfect. Let me go step aside here. Let me just go run over and just give a good. Good walloping. There we go. Oh, that was a 78 percenter. Okay, so there's a lot of things to dump on you guys right now. I'm gonna try to do my best to uh, to make it as um, as palatable as possible or, <laughs> or whatever. So, so you are a vampire in the land of humans. It used to be humans in the land of vampires, but then the vampires ended up fucking up or something like that. So the humans got super powerful, and then you start off as a little vampire. That's kind of a bitch. So you have to start building your way up. So you're not running around just killing everything willy nilly. You got to work your way up, okay? So you start off with like kind of like nothing. I'm gonna go leave my horse here and go for a walk, go for a stroll. Um, yes, there's sunlight. And yes, sunlight does hurt. But it is, uh, it doesn't hurt in, in the way that you, uh, uh, in the way that it's portrayed in other movies. Uh, it does not, uh, make me sparkle. Uh, it does not immediately melt me. Uh, what happens is it starts to slowly burn, and then you'll start to see the beam come down, and then it's like, and then, and then, that's when it starts taking damage, taking like actual big chunks out of your health. So you gotta, uh, you know, be careful of that. But that means that you're allowed to run around during the day. Now, what I want to point out, and this is like, this really kind of just goes to the uh, credit of the developers of really, really putting in the time. But check this out. If I get into the shadow here, as the shadow starts to move, I start to get, yeah, start to cook a little bit, right? It does not seem like, and maybe this is a bad example here, it does not seem to me that the the mapping of the, where the sun hits is just kind of like a big blob. It is actually where the sun is hitting. So if I stand like in a little pocket like this, I believe, and maybe it's not going to do it now, of course. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, if I step over a little bit, see, I'm out of it. And this shadow is slowly moving. Now it moves a lot faster than like, you know, the regular sun, of course, because it's not like a true day-night cycle. Um, but just, just to give you an idea, the quality of the game in terms of like the, the attention to detail is like on that level. Where it's like, it's not just, oh, this whole blob here is safe. It's not like that. It's like, no, if you stand in the leaves and the sun, sunlight goes through the leaves, you're gonna fucking burn, right? I'll do it again. Let me get, let me get, let me get over here in this, in this little bright spot here. There you go. I'm gonna start cooking. Make us start cooking. Oh, shadow. Okay, well, take my word for it. All right, so bad guys here, or rather, good guys. <laughs> uh, that had twelve percent. You see that one says eight percent. Let's see what this guy has. This guy has two percent. So trash blood. What you're looking at there is the quality of blood here. Let me just hit this guy with one of these. To show that off. Uh, that's the quality of blood. And oh, you're still alive. 
There we go. Let's kill the shit out of that dude. Uh, the quality of blood gives you perks. So, oh shit. Okay, that's Tristan. Okay, I have not. I don't think I've killed him. Have I killed him? I think so. Hold on a second. This might turn into a thing now. We were just gonna, you know, mess around and whatnot. But uh, hold on. Let me see. Tristan, did I got Tristan already? I don't. Oh shit. Ooh. Okay. So. These guys that walk around, why do I have two of these things? These guys that are walking around, like this, this guy's slow dude, right, with the V-Bloods. He has a V-Blood where the other guys had like 2%, whatever. That means they have like some kind of special blood or, or something, right? Oh, an alpha wolf. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's back up a little bit. They might fight. They will fight, actually. Let's step back here. We'll watch. So, those guys, this is also another alpha, right? Or, uh, oh, sorry, a V-Blood. Looks like I just stumbled across a when they he's gonna murder this wolf when they uh when you kill them you end up getting perks and such you know, and while they're while they're murdering each other there uh we'll take a look at this here i'm so glad we ran into one because it's a major part of the game uh so look so for example this guy if i kill him i'm gonna get a uh, greater blood essence uh oh okay so i can so instantly re oh wow okay so that's pretty cool so tristan is whooping oh shit wolf's wolf's attacking me now all right, I've been seen. I've been spotted. Let me go back up a little bit. Let me see if I can't help the wolf. Help the wolf. Help the wolf. I don't really have good blood or anything, so let's see what he does here. There you go. Keep distance if we can. If we can. These guys typically have some pretty good moves. I'm not sure what his moves are just yet. I'm not sure what my moves are because I just got this. Hold, let me get this blood here. <laughs> Is he gonna let me do it? No, he's not. Oh! Oh shit! Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't take this, huh? No, that's hilarious. Cool. This is just gonna give me loot, basically. An unsullied heart, which I get later craft into something else. You'll see this for the later end of this video. But let me switch to something I know a little better here. Oh, that's uh, changes my my gear level too too low. Need a sword. Oh shit. Like I said, I still don't know his moves. I can knock it back with that. Does not knock back. Okay. this why am I why is my R not working my uh, secondary spell doesn't seem to want to work I wonder if I can hit him with a much oh shit took with me oh damn it that's fine I'm down all right so that's how I'm dead I kind of expected that <laughs> I'm a little rusty no that guy was pretty tough I should I should have uh, uh, probably should have just approached that a little bit differently let's get in at least you got to see him okay I should go out to whoop his ass right now. Can I do that? Let me get up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I need better blood. I need better quality blood. Okay, I know where he's at. So here's what I'm going to do. Check this out. You guys are going to crash course and, uh, and, and open some business here. First, let me change it to a wolf. And then what I'm going to do is, because I know he's right out here. I know, like, there's my horse, right? So I know he's right out there on the mini-map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport over to Casper's place. Casper, who's one of my guild mates, whoop, he has a... Uh, some prisoners where he uh, siphons blood from them and stores them, giving him uh, some uh, basically a vial that you could take at any point and gain some. Uh, I was thinking the, the perks. Five, oh, day 500. Wow. Hey, that's a great, great milestone. So let me see. If he stores them here. Let me see. 96%. Warrior 96%. Uh, and the rogue. 70, okay, let's take this warrior 90, 96%. I hope he doesn't mind. Sorry, Casper. So, look down here. Unsullied blood. So, sorry, it's frail blood. Let's go ahead and take this. Now I have 96% warrior blood. And look at those. Increased physical power. 8 to 15%. Reduced cooldown weapon skills. Reduced damage take by 24%. Increased damage with striking members of full health. 50% uh, chance to parry. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? Cool. Like lots. Like lots. Let's go and close up shop here. Don't want to be a jerk. So, we have some blood to spare. We can also use blood to heal ourselves. Not top. That's definitely not top. That's a burly dude. Those are servants, by the way. You can uh, you can charm them at nearby places. You probably won't see that today. Uh, and then bring them back. For example, like, on guang 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 Like, that's my servant. He just kind of walks around. You know, make sure there's no wolves or something like that. Like, wants to, you know, show up and uh, start some guff. Now, where's my loot? Right? Right over here. It has an unsullied heart, so our un untainted heart. There's my loot right there. So I know he's running somewhere. He's probably... Get on. I'm guessing he went this way. Oh, I'm about to, I'm about to mess him up. Let's get out my, my Reaper. This is him, right? Nope. He could not have gone that far. 
I'm, I'm buff now, man. I'm swole. I'm ready. Here he is. Here he is. You mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let me get let me get rid of the horse here just to save it as best I can. <laughs> There. Ooh. There, now it works. I'm not sure exactly how that spell works, though. Oof. Yeah, stay busy. Stay busy. Oops, just a little too close. Damn, I damn it. If I landed that. Just get away from my horse. Get away from your sizzle! Get away from my horse! Oh. Okay, blocked some of that, I think. Got him on fire, so there goes all my health. <laughs> For real, this fire is so, so, so... What is he shooting at? Oh, he just missed me. Step over here. His bullshit. Wow. Okay. That's some lots of owl there. My E does not seem to work. There it goes. Okay. That's me. It's all me. So we can take this real quick. That's a healing potion. It heals over time. Okay. Great. I'm on fire though. <laughs> Let me see if I can heal myself. Nope. Oh god. Oh god. Change the bear form. I don't know if that's gonna help me at all. But it looks really cool. Okay, hold on. I don't want him to, like, re... Re anything. Hold on, where's he at? Oh, I can't... I can't dash with... Oh, God! Fine! Okay, well, he got me. Fine. It's fine, fine, fine. He got me. We'll let him live. He's gonna regen. He's gonna keep walking. Anyways, let's go do something else. Let's go do something else. <laughs> God damn it. Uh... Alright, yeah, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yep. It was it was good effort. It was good effort. It was like a it was like a B plus effort. Right? Yeah, it's like a B plus effort. You got to see hey, you got to see some stuff though. Not necessarily the building part. We'll get to that part in a second. That takes that's a long one. There's a lot of building shit. It's supposed to be a, I'm mostly gonna give you guys a tour, how it works, functionality of it, like building, basic stuff. Um and also just like, you know, you can build cool shit. What's up guys? Those are skellies. We're not going to bother with them. They don't have no blood, nothing. So, when you come across somebody that has good blood, then what you want to do is, you know, get to sucking, right? Because then you gain their powers or whatever. Now, what we what we drank was uh, a vial of warrior blood, which, as you saw, gave us a lot of warrior abilities. Okay, hold on a sec. We want this. Um, attack level too low. Oh, whoops. Uh, so, the... The blood can also uh, come in like scholar or rogue or uh, some other like forms. This is how you mine, by the way. Uh, is basically you slap a shit out of things, and you don't have to use necessarily use this. You can use other things. It's just some weapons are going to be more effective, right? Um, and so, anyways, you yeah, you get you the the blood that you collect and that you drink, you gain some of those some of those traits. Like creature blood, for example, will let you uh, your overall movement speed will just be faster. Stuff like that. So it ends up being a really, 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 really cool uh, 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 a mechanic. Uh, thematic mechanic, I think, is or something like that, is what Donis of Wannis said. And I was like, oh, yeah, just like that. It's a pretty good one. Let's go ahead and go through this town here. I'm way overpowered for this, but just so you guys can see. Like, just, uh, oh, dang. Hit me with the, oh, 43%. Perfect. We're going to take this warrior's blood here. We're going to take a couple of hits, but these guys are pretty low level, so we should be able to take it. There you go. Give it a good whap. Give a good one of those. 1%. Nope, there's a bone mace sitting here. Doo -doo -boop. Done. Oh, you're still alive. I killed you a long time ago. Look at that. You see that? 180, baby. 180. So this is a Mercer's Night Soccer Vest. This is a, 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 it's a, uh, uh, a recipe, basically. Oh, let's go ahead and just keep on whapping. So you would come out, oh, 
you would come out here and do this kind of work, and it would be a lot harder. Like it's it, the game, it's a lot harder when you're not necessarily when you, like when you're first starting out, but just overall, like as you're trying to progress through different areas, like you wouldn't necessarily come through here and look for like for example chests with loot where you can, uh, smashing things for resources because you may be beyond this, right? You're working for other kinds of resources elsewhere. But this is essentially what you're going to be doing. This is like real life. The game's flashy and everything, lots of cool spells and really great combat, like really really good combat. There's PvP servers if you want to go and try that, you can. Um, but overall, though, you're going to be doing some grinding. You're going to, it's, it's, it's kind of the way the game is built, and it's how Valheim was as well. You get in, you got to your survival. You're kind of started from scratch. You're building everything up. There we go. Look at these moves. See these moves? See the combat is slick. Like you don't have to worry about the combat. The little boss fights and everything. I mean, like that Tristan one, Tristan there. Uh, like, th these encounters are really, really worth it. Just those alone. Let's take a look at the map here so you can see how this thing's laid out. That Disney farmlands. Um, so, the map is significant in size. I have a mount. It would still take me probably a couple minutes to go from here to here. And the mount's fast. Um, maybe like five minutes or something like that, maybe? Let me see. Maybe like for five, like five minutes, I think. Yeah, because you're gonna get in some guff when you get up there. Anyway, so uh, uh, and if you're running, it's gonna take a lot longer than that. And you can find horses anywhere, by the way. So, for example, you could see like a farmland or something like that, like our farm, and you could say, okay, I'm gonna go down there and get some. Uh, we'll get a mount, probably over. Let me see over here, something militia scroll horse. There you go. So you go to a farm, pick up a horse. Um, and you can see what kind of loot is there. And so these are all. If you look at the color, these are all like tier one stuff. The green is all like tier two. This is like tier three, I think. I haven't gone up here yet. Uh, this might be tier four, or maybe this is tier four, and this is tier five, or tier three. This is tier four. I'm not quite sure. Well, there's a horse over here. Oh, that means it's one of my, one of my uh, teammates or one of my clan mates uh, has a horse over there. They must be just picking them up and just dropping them off. Uh, over here we have top and uh, and double. They're online. Other uh, uh, guild mates, Lady Death. That's uh, Casper. Also online, Delphi. I don't know who that is. Uh, in a starting area though, so I'm guessing it's probably going to be uh, I don't know somebody new. <laughs> but let me see. Let me just get up and go. But that's how you would plan your your trips, right? Now the day night cycle is you know, obviously continuous, but you also have these uh, uh, blood moons. Oh, Lady of the Chaos Archer. Oh, you know she might have she might have something for me. You get Blood Moon, and Blood Moon gives you like a, a bonus to your uh, to like overall damage and spells and everything. I like that little knockback that does. I should read that. I just recently switched spells, and everybody said this one was the best, so I haven't had a chance to really uh, check it out myself. Switch weapons. Go ahead and hit her one of these. You or me? Shoot. You the one. Oh, and she disappeared. Mm. Nope, missed. So the game has this uh, this thing that t t took me some getting used to, which is wherever you aim is where your character aims. These are the same guys that did Bloodline Champions, right? So it's gonna play a little bit like that, if I recall. Where's Link? Leave some of those exploding uh, silhouettes there. She's here somewhere. Anyway, so notice I'm kind of shooting off to the side like this. It's because when I activate the ability, it's going to be wherever, whatever direction the mouse is. So it's kind of weird at first if you're used to, like, wherever the camera aims is where you're going to be. Like, wherever you're looking is where your character's looking. It's not like that. So you have to get used to that. This ring right here basically just means that uh, that thing needs to be repaired. So don't trip. Uh, it looks like, besides just breaking all the trees around me, I don't think I really got anything out of that. Yeah, there's no hearts or anything here. Really? No hearts? Come on, man. You're killing me. Sulfur ore. Yeah, I mean, it blew up that, that ore vein. That's kind of nice, I guess. Save me a couple strikes. And back on the road, we go up here. This is the, uh, I'll give you a little tour. A little tour of the graveyard. It's kind of a cool little graveyard. It's kind of very moody, right? Wow, oh, it's Gore Swine. This is another, this is another boss. Again, I, I'm, I'm way over leveled for this, so it's just, I feel bad. I feel bad. Level 27. Oh, that's not you. I'm gonna kill you anyways, though. These guys fucked me up so much when I was first starting out. I came in here, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go farm some rats and some bones and everything. And, the, oh, God, those guys just kill me so many times. Can we get closer? Mm. Where'd you go? Damn it. Stay there. Oh, it's gonna be a 
gonna take forever here. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna do this shit. Kind of stand in the poison and eat it. Nah. Oh, actually, goddamn, I'm strong. I'm strong. I can, oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I was like, boy, I'm strong. I can stand here. Nah. Just hit it right here so we can keep slapping. Stop going to this corner, man. Jeez. Get out. Oh, shit, I missed. Mm. Oh, okay, that's invincibility there. Sun's rising. Uh, there we go. That's it right there. Done. <laughs> Hold to extract blood. I'm coming. Mm hmm. To hell. <laughs> and then we get what? There was a yeah, there was a un, un, untainted heart there actually. Let me see. Do we get from the other one? We did actually. Unslayed heart. Cool. We got three. Hey, that's a good run. Those things are, are invaluable. Um, they're for special recipes. Uh, recipes when uh, recipes when you get uh, uh, up and up and level. Uh, they used to actually drop from basically nothing, so it was really annoying to farm them. But hey, now we got some. Sun's back out. Let's go get some more slap in here. What was that? Hold on a second. An oh, animal hide? No, I thought I saw something else here. Maybe not. Tripping. Tripping. Let's keep on moving. Let's do a little lap here. Show you guys around. Check out some of the scenery now. Talk about the camera angles. Camera angles is something I have a problem with. Uh, a lot of people, uh, not a lot, but at least a few people have mentioned to me that they also have the same problem. Um, where you cannot tilt any further up than this. Where I can't look up. I can look down, but that's it. And down, up, that's it. Yeah, here. Up, down. So to me, that that poses a little bit of a problem because I just want to see a little bit more. I just want to see up a little bit more. Let me go hide over here real quick. Um, but I can't. I want to take care of this guy. And also, seven percent. God, he's some mud bloods, dude. Let me hide behind this thing, take advantage of the shadow that it's casting while I go ahead and take it down. Break this thing up, and then we're gonna go back around to our base. Haven't I mean? It's, yeah, we don't. We've done like three like boss encounters already, or like yeah, I guess like elite encounters already. That's not bad. That's not bad. I wasn't definitely wasn't on the dock. I figured we just run around and just kill shit. But the game, I mean, aesthetically, it nails it. It's beautiful. We got nice green, beautiful forests. There's um, I mean, there's like evil beasts like this. There's somebody else's. Oh, this is somebody else's uh, base that's actually deteriorating. Victor. Oh, Victor, huh? Victor forgot to put blood in his stuff. A stone golem right there. So if you don't load up that little heart thing in the middle with enough blood, then your buildings will start to decay. And you can see that there's like some health loss on here. So that's, uh, that's, oh shit. <laughs> oh god! No! Jeez! <laughs> I got stuck and that was it, man. Downhill from there. Victor, look what you did! Let's go back to my- I could have spawned any, any of those other gates if I wanted to, but, uh, yeah, let's go right here. I'm not gonna fetch my stuff. Right now, let's focus on buildings. I'll fetch my shit later. Those unsullied hearts, though, are- I, like, yeah, damn it. I like unsullied. All right, unsullied? I feel like that's not what it's called, but damn it, this, this keeps coming out. All right, so this is your base. You have the build menu pops up here. You have full control over everything and in terms of- well, okay, uh, it's grid-based, yes, but- you, outside of that, you pretty much have full control, moving things around. So like I say, if you're like, oh, this thing, which has items in it, you can pick it up and move it there if you wanted to. It has items in it! Okay, that's, that's huge. Most games that allow you to do stuff like this, it's like, oh, you gotta empty inventory first or whatever. I mean, here's like, here's this big old table here, right? This is, uh, it's got stuff in it too. Fuck, I won't move it. No problem. Here's a bunch of chests. Let's go and get over here and see the chests uh, and pick up some items we can build with. This is going to load it up with some, uh, no clay molds. Let me see. No whetstone. This is not a good chest. <laughs> it doesn't have building stuff that I need in order to demonstrate this. Um, let me see. We'll grab some of these. We'll grab a little bit of those. There's so many resources. We go over here. Here's where we can get our hands on some. Let me see. No iron ingots. Some planks for sure. Some copper. Some stone bricks. Some wood. Uh, let me see, a stone body, sure, maybe some of that, and then, uh, stone dust, we might be able to build some of some stone dust. Come over here, these are grinders. Each one of these is in its own room, uh, because they actually benefit from this, so, 
when you look at this in the upper right corner here, this, this is the, all the production side of the game. There's the whole go out and explore and kill and all this stuff, right? Eat people or whatever, suck their blood, wreak havoc, show the humans what's up. Uh, and that's one side of it. This is the like product production uh, aspect of it. Now there's no automation outside of you just throw a bunch of shit into the input and a bunch of stuff comes out of the output. You don't have to select any of the, you don't have to say, okay, build this or build that, whatever. It's very easy. Just throw stuff in, stuff comes out. Can't explain that. That's it. Now at the top here, you see they have in confined room, castle room, 25%, has matching floor. Oh, 25%. Has a spe this floor that's under here is a special floor. If I go to castle and then go to floors, uh, you can see that there's a workshop flooring. So that's the flooring that's down there. Now it comes in two different styles. You're not locked to one. You can have this kind of woodshop flooring or you get this kind of woodshop flooring. So it's kind of nice. They don't necessarily just give you like, okay, this is that and that's it, All right? I also have forge flooring. You can see that over here, different kind of floor. I also put some nice wallpaper up. Well, not wallpaper, but I, I coated the walls in, in brick uh, texture, I guess. <laughs> it's in here, right? Look, the walls, there we go. It shows, oh wait, no, no, walls, walls, don't no, wallpaper, wallpaper, there we go. And then, yeah, so we got different, yeah, we can put down, we can color it all we want. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I could do the middle too. Oh, damn, okay. Did that cost? How much does that cost? Two stone bricks and some stone dust for this? I mean, it does match. Oh god, the sides don't match though. Ooh, yeah, we'll look at that later. <laughs> we'll look at that later, it's fine. Let's see, the smithy, the, the, the same thing with the furnace. All these things, same way. Drop some stuff in, stuff comes out. Easy peasy. The moon is rising, we're not worried about that right now. We're not worried about building. Let me see, windows. Uh, so you could build, so you build walls, right? Put a wall down here, put a wall down here, put a wall down here. And then you can go and throw down some windows if you wanted to. Or see, there's doors rather. Um, let me see, windows. See those windows in them, kind of spice them up a little bit, right? Boom, there's another one. Oh, I guess I missed that one. Um, let's go and delete that. Easy to delete, easy to uh, delete when you're building in the build phase. If you, anything you just recently built, you can turn around and delete and get 100% uh, uh, of your resources back. If you um, if you come back later to do it, it's gonna be 75%. See, 75% there and 100% here. Uh, you can also lay down curtains if you want to. You can lay down some curtains. I don't have any any material for it, but you put down curtains so you can kind of get fancy. You put down paintings too. Look at this. Ooh, well not here because there's nowhere to put them here. Maybe against that wall. Look at that. Uh, you can let me see carpets. Put down a rug if you want to. Look at you no know, fancy little rugs, some windows, see walls. We got all that. You can put down just one pillar if you want to. Let me see one pillar. No, okay, we'll leave it alone. But there's the grid and action though you can see it um let me see what else we have in the build menu production okay all the production stuff you, you get it right also i don't want to spoil everything <laughs> you could build statues i love this i love this you could build these cool statues uh you could put them like you know maybe like here or something and then maybe over here just to kind of add a little bit of flavor to your castle uh mirrors i they're not real mirrors you know dracula and mirrors and all that it's just there to change your uh uh, if you want to change what your character looks like, so maybe I should put one up over here or something. Nah, I don't have any mirrors. No mirrors. I don't need mirrors. I'm not that kind of, not that kind of vain. They have torches. You can put those on the wall too. Look at this. Get some standing lights. Maybe put one in the corner if you want. It comes in different colors if you have the different materials for it. So you see how easy it is to build? Super, super, super easy. It's just like Legos. Boom, 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 boom. You just got to spend the resources to do it. Super easy. Go ahead and get rid of this and this and then this. Gotta be careful we don't hit it the wrong things. Good. Don't want to delete the wrong stuff. And then, like I said, moving stuff also easy. All right. So, like, I mean, you know, like this is crooked here. So we take this, move it over. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. Now I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna take that back actually because I don't like. I don't want that uh, out here. Um, let me see. Oh, this this rug, this carpet. Let's see. If this looks good in here. We can just pick it up and just take it with us at no cost. We could put it right over here, like in, in the corner or something. We want to put some kind of something in here. That seems a little homely to put in the, our throne room. Uh, I notice I have white lights back there. It's kind of nice. It's supposed to be where I'm going to sit in my throne. Boss around things. Check this out. Here's what you do on your throne. You sit on it. You look sexy. And you pull up the map. And you say, okay, cool. Uh, Bandit logging camp. That sounds good. Let's go ahead and send Om Wom 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 over there. So you select him. Chance of success. It's 100%. We want to speed it up. 23 hours. I'm just definitely plus 20% success chance is gonna do. Gonna gather some resources. Look at that. Bunch of lump. Wow, that's a lot of lumber. Bunch of sawdust. I don't know why they bring. Why do they bring back sawdust? I don't understand. Who who the fuck goes to the beach and comes back with pocket sand like intentionally? Okay, so let's see. Coarse thread. Uh, general area loot and blood essence. So like, we could say see you to this guy for the next 24 hours, and then he'll come back with a lot of stuff. Let's do it. Let's do it. And here's what's cool. If somebody, I know that I haven't seen the actual uh, um, 
uh, uh, what is it, the actual servant in action, but I have seen, I have gone down to the, uh, to the areas where other people's servants were working, and I have seen the leftovers of them working. I don't know if this is true or not, right? Because it's, we were still figuring out this game when all this was happening, but from what I understand, you can actually see other people's servants working out in the wild. Um, now again, don't quote me on this, because this is all part of us just figuring shit out, could very well be incorrect. Now, standing in front of the blood altar, I'm going to show you this because this is also very important. Uh, you already seen this menu, uh, but what you haven't seen is the track blood option. So if I go down here to this Christina the Sun Priestess and I click on track blood, now we're going to see a blood wisp that's going to point me towards where she is. Now, I already know where this person is, um, so I'm not in a hurry to go anywhere and go chase her down or anything like that. But that's how you go and you find, and for example, when I kill her, I get glass, I get empty black glass bottle, holy resistance potion, and then I get a blood rose potion. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And then some kind of power. I don't know what the power is yet. Ooh. But all these other ones I've killed, I've got all these spells and abilities. You know, and they're not all warriors, right? This is some cute little fat lady that's running around. who's like, oh my God, trying to kill me. And she's running everywhere, making a ton of noise, and finding all the guards in the town. And it's not like an instance area. Like you're out in the open. I've been on huge fights and then someone comes running over to save my ass. <laughs> Why do I have so many of these reinforced bone maces? Check this out. Here's what you do with stuff when you have excess of. Okay, you come over here to this guy, the Devourer. Drop that in there, and it's gonna convert that down into uh, into some actual usable resources for you. So let me see. What's like? What do I get from this? Yeah, some stone and some planks. Hell yeah. We'll come back to that later. You can also process the blood that you got, right? Uh, so I have four of these things. Those hearts that I picked up. Four of those will make one of these uh, greater blood essences. Greater blood essences are, like I said before, they're, they're key to your uh, to your progress. You can set up farms and all that. I don't have any farms just to just demonstrate. Um, this is your heart right here. I can upgrade this to get more space. Right now I'm level 2 and my border is 80-80, which border basically means how many grid squares can I put down for my base. Um, I would need to get an additional, uh, was this? so I have the iron ingots for it. I would need 24 glass and then 4 up, oh jeez, hmm, I wonder if I could do that right now. I don't think I have 24 glass. Let me see. No, I, I highly, highly doubt I even have like 10 glass. Yeah, if I can't find it, then uh, I don't have a lot. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I don't have a lot for sure. <laughs> um, so, like I said, building is really, really well done. The detail is, is amazing. Um, like for example out here, these are all gravel paths and they're designed to be put down a certain way. Uh, let's see, exterior, there's lots of exterior stuff you could do, right? Fences, paths, water supply, structures, the teleporter, you had to build the teleporter too. None of the, it was an empty field, but well, I got empty fields, right? I did this! Let's see, go pass, open this up, so check this out. You're supposed to build a path like this, but I was like, God, that seems kind of boring, this is a straight line. So I tried to build like this pattern here and it lets me do it. And let's see, build around it too. So there's, there's, there's not just like, you know, really cool uh, uh, and, um, you know, nice detailed building elements. But it also has a little flexibility with it too. You can have some fun with it. Uh, you're not locked into interconnecting these because it gives you like a footpath bonus or something like that. Uh, I even put down these stairs here, which is pretty sick. It used to be just, you know, just kind of lame ramp. Lame ramp, you know. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that co that coffin over there belongs to my servant. There's a water well over there. Obviously, it's where I get some water if I need it. I don't drink it, but I can use it to make some potions and, sh and such. Uh, and then, God, there's so many facets of this game. And it's so hard to, like, sum it up into, like, a 30-minute video. But this this is where we're at here. It's, uh... <laughs> this, is, this is a game that definitely is deserved of your, of your attention. If you're somebody who plays a lot of... Uh, uh, of these types of games like Valheim uh, or even like Conan Exiles is this another game that I was told is um, I haven't played it so uh, another game that I was told was pretty good pretty in line with the way this game functions uh, let me go back to the building here I'm not going anywhere let me see production let me see refinement uh, let me see you know, tombs storage let's go over to the, uh, the actual building here you can see how crafting works so I have a couple of different crafting benches uh, some of them this is a smithy all this does is to help you build these types of weapons uh, iron weapons I should say uh, then over here we have uh, we have a couple of different tables here this one the woodworking bench this is uh, a more advanced bench this is where I could build a painting frame for example so I'll build a paint frame. We'll come back to that. Uh, also build a fishing pole if I like. Study. You convert scrolls that you find into... Oh. Do I have all these things? Whoa, hold on a second. When, when did I get all these? Man. What?
What the heck? I didn't know I had all these things. Since when? Oh, you know what? Yeah, I, I know why. I know why. Because I went to uh, one of my one of my uh, clan mates uh, has progressed, and so I must have gone and used something of his, and that gave me access to this. Wow, that gives me a ton. Oops, sorry, a ton of new things to build. Uh, was it over here? I don't know where I build those things though. Let me see. Oh, it's probably gonna be in here. Duh. Let me see. Yeah, look at that. Slim blood. Clip. What? This is huge. Holy shit. Holy shit. So now, now I could build. I mean, let me see. It's got a couple new wallpapers. That's kind of nice. That's kind of cool. Let's see exterior fences. Some new fences. That's nice. Water supply. Wow. <gasps> Two water-filled bottles and, and a fountain. Look at this fountain. Look at that. Dang, so there's a lot of stuff that you could build and you could see there's uh, there's tons of other stuff too now This also this actually leads us to a Very important note that I probably would have forgot uh, When you're clanned up with somebody you get all the benefits that they have unlocked right when you're working together in a castle or something like that You share all the same benefits you're using the same stuff So if you're working together with somebody else you can ex you can accelerate your time to progress fairly quickly um, which is helpful when, you know, you're trying to hook up with friends and maybe you guys are working or something and you're trying to find like a good schedule that works for everybody. And yeah, all this stuff, I didn't find all this stuff. I just, I just happened to go somewhere else and, and click on something. And now I have, oh my God, <laughs> holy crap. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. I mean, I know what some of this stuff is, but like these, what is a brew ferocity? Wow. Physical power. Nice. Nice. What is assortment is auger vases? So it's more vases. Lots and lots of like uh, decoration and cosmetic stuff. So what you see here is we were like, oh man, your castle is really nice. I don't have anything unlocked, right? I well, it didn't until now, but uh, there's so much room for uh, for growth for like an assortment of variety of different uh, 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 of, of accessories and things. I got some paintings right there. Let me grab this painting frame. Oh, this picture frame. Oh, I have a bunch. Well, what the fuck? Why do I have so many painting picture frames? <laughs> what the hell was I thinking? That's a lot. Uh, whoa, man. New statues, too. Dang, I'm so down with this. Let me see. Let me get a, let me get a, uh, let's see, a black one. Look at this. Dang, it was a male and a female one here. Here we go. I love this, man. Let me go to the, let's see, exterior. No, castle production. No, what the heck? Where's the. I can spend all day in here doing this. Oh, what the hell? Garden planters? Oh, look at this noble garden bench. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> they make a garden. It's so great, man. They give you so many things that you could build. So many things that you could build. It's crazy. Let me see. Furniture, firesides. I have to always warm with cold bones. It's a fucking fire pit. And it's a rad one, too. Yeah. See, this is this is where the Valheim vibes come from, right? It's it's that ability to take and build not just a stupid cabin in the woods, but little ornaments. Oh, look at this. Dang. But it's a, your ability to 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 accessorize. How much is what does this cost me? Oh, look at this. Some wings. What do I put wings on? I don't know how this works. Where do I put them on the side of the pillar? I guess. I put them right here. There we go. All the way down. Just a bunch of wings. God damn, this is amazing. I'm so happy now. I'm here all day. Some new some new floor library flooring. Bonus to library structures. Okay, hold on a second. Does that mean that? Let me see. Is this a library structure? I don't even know if this is a library structure. <laughs> I don't know what qualifies. Paintings. Okay, sorry. Back to paintings. Hey, look. It's a picture of me. Oh, who's this? Who's this cutie? Let me see. Where can I put this? There we go. Yeah, we could dress this whole area up. Let me see. Ooh. I love this. Love this. And then it's a picture of me over here. Right? That's me looking moody. Yeah. Moody person. Who's this? I'm gonna put it there. Nope, nope, nope. Can I put it on the side? Nope. Okay. Gosh, I'm gonna be here all fucking day. No, no, stop, stop. Okay, listen, 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 listen. Back on track. So, a fine selection of. Oh, God, I can build fucking thing. I can finally build these things. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm gonna put those all over the place now. Those are storage units, basically, so I could get rid of the um, uh, uh, of some of these chests. Anyways, a very robust build system. Everything you have to go farm up, all right? You got to explore out. You got to say, okay, do I need grave dust, morning lilies, bones? Boom, you're going to go up here to the graveyard and start wrecking shit. Do you need planks, coarse threaded paper? Wreck shit. You can make planks. You can make planks in the sawmill. You can make coarse thread in the loom. 
You can't make paper, though. But still, you could go out and collect those items if you need them instead of doing that. Just like fishing. You don't have to fish, necessarily. You could just go to a fishing town, I guess, and <laughs> maybe like here. Let me see. Abandoned logging camp. Let me see. Are we here? Uh, quartz. I'm looking for something that's near water here like this. There you go. Fish oil, quartz, scroll. Probably find it in chests and areas like this. Glass. See an example. Glass. I can unlock the ability to make glass by fighting that priestess, or I could just go over here and try to loot it, right? Of course, you have to fight everything over there. So this is what I love about the game is that you come in, you log in and you could just plan out. Okay. What am I going to do for the next, you know, three hours? It's late. It's Thursday night. You know, I'm not doing anything, you know, from nine until midnight. Let me go and see what I can knock out in three hours. And then you start, you know, soloing some stuff. If you wanted to go and clear out some stuff, whatever, uh, or you cook up some homies and then go and, you know, go uh, hunting, uh, do like a bunch of these blood altars. Uh, do some farming, collective farming, go out and do this, this, collect this, whatever. Everyone comes back, throws a bunch of things into a bin. Everybody starts to starts to starts to learn and grow and get all these new unlocks and everything like you just saw me get. Um, yeah, man, like it's it's shocking to me that this is, is is an early access game. There are some features that are missing. I can't turn off the UI. I can't tilt the camera down any further than this. I can't. There's no photo mode, like, like little things like that, but things that are in have had so much thought put into them that, you know, I have to recommend it. Like it's, it's just, it's just well done. It's just well put together. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I, I like, I like the fact that bloodline champions, I mean, I play bloodline champions. Um, Oh God, what was the other one? Uh, just, it just slipped my mind, of course. Uh, but I think I covered both of their previous games before, and I want to say that I enjoyed both of them. And so now, you know, sitting on this is the third title, it's another winner for me. Um, I feel like they just hit it just right. The game was trending like twice on Twitter over the week, or several times uh, on Twitter over the weekend. Uh, and I went and I surfed through it. It's a bunch of random people. They're just talking about, you know, just like, oh man, I did this thing for you, and I got jacked or whatever, like, all kinds of different things. Um, but yeah, overall, overall, it's a winner. This is more like a podcast than it is uh, an actual game review. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind, but uh, yeah, it's, it's it's that's the kind of game that it is that it requires this kind of this kind of sit down. Let's sit down and have a discussion. Uh, <laughs> let me go and sit down over here in my uh, in my throne, and uh, let's just can we close the map and stay in the throne? Yeah, there we go, there we go. Can't turn off, can't turn off the thing though. But you know, oh man, so 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 that is Valheim. Sorry. <laughs> That is V Rising. <laughs> v for Valheim. Uh, $19.99. A shockingly low price point for the amount of content that you can get you can get out of this game. If you and like I said, if you got friends, the game only gets that much better uh, with friends. I've been playing mm, alone for like some of the building stuff and some of the small farming things, but being on a server with other people is is great. There's been times like like I said, like I just get into a fight or I roll across somebody else who's getting into a fight and I jump down and help them out real quick. It's rad. It feels like an MMO. I mean, it's not, you know, it's small server and everything, but still, you know, it's, it's got that feeling, man. It's good. So that's it. I'm going to go and get out of here. Stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike B. AKA phony. I'm going to see you guys later.